Lee Hood, who was the chairman of biology at the time, came to me and said, did you patent the genomic library? And I said, no, I went to council. And he said he didn't see that there was anything here that was patentable. <laughs> In order to really have a comprehensive uh, approach to understanding gene regulation in eukaryotes, you had to have a way of isolating all the DNA so that you could then uh, go back and select the regions you wanted to look at and focus on that. You know, it was a great concept. You could put a little tube and now anybody that wanted to find their favorite gene, uh, if they had a way for, to probe for it, could do it. We decided to do that uh, on, uh, on human DNA. And so we went to extreme measures, both in the way we fragmented the DNA, the way we cloned it, and the way uh, we, uh, we characterized it. The biology that I grew up in, uh, no one even thought about commercialization or patents. We had uh, a, you know, a few very large tubes of this uh, of this library, and we aliquoted generous amounts for years and sent it virtually to anyone who asked for it. It really advanced the idea that uh, we're going to do much better by sharing than by hoarding. Although I've been uh, burned a few times uh, with that, overall, uh, I've never regretted uh, doing that.